Well, new year, new administration for the city of Shreveport, and in part, it's also a new look city council. So what's in store for the city moving forward? KSLA News 12's Jade Myers got a preview with one of the councilmen who with what he sees as challenges that lay ahead in the new year. Well, I'm real optimistic. I, I believe it was time for new leadership. Councilman Grayson Butcher will serve his second term for the Shreveport City Council this year under new leadership and with some new colleagues. I don't think there's any any um, any secret that, that I supported uh, Mayor Arsenault. Um, I'm excited about the leadership and the experience that he brings to the city of Shreveport. Um, I, I've talked to him I, as he's talked to all council members. Um, about some of the initiatives that he's, he's planning to put into place. So I'm, I'm really, really optimistic and I look forward to working with him for the next four years. As far as the new council members, um, I believe that it'll be a learning curve for us all. Um, I'm optimistic. Butcher said there's several things he'd like for the city to tackle. I'd like to see us do some changes to our property standards laws. Uh, the other thing is I, I really have uh, several questions about the, uh, the school, uh, school zone cameras. Um, uh, you know, I would like for the new city attorney and, and the mayor to look into, you know, the ramifications of us revoking that that contract. Butcher said he has hopes for his district, too. My district is growing very fast um, and we have a lot of growing pains and, uh, you know, traffic number one off of LW Road and Norris Ferry. Um, you know, we, we've got a brand new uh, Brooks grocery store going out on Norris Ferry Road. There, there's several things that I would like to see come to my district that I believe other parts of the city have and that we don't out here. Butcher said he wants citizens to know that it takes time to see progress. The problems that we've had in the city are not going to change overnight. I think we've made great strides in crime. I think you can look back at 2022 and realize that our crime rate is down. We hope to continue that to continue in 2023. Jade Myers, KSLA News 12.